Hello, welcome back. My name is Jeff and we are going to continue on with the second part of building a email class with a function that allows us to send emails with pretty much any type of attachment file. Uh, if you didn't see video one, you probably should because that's really the constructor of the class. And now we're going to talk about the index page which will actually use this class and use the function in order to send out emails with attachments. So let's get started on the index page and on the index page of course we're going to start out again with our PHP tags and from that point we'll start building the call to the uh, class and the use of the function. Well the first thing we got to do is we got to include our uh, file that we uh, that we just set up which is uh, email class dot PHP. So we're going to put this all into the same folder. We're not going to, we could say, you know, uh, it could be like uh, classes slash email class or whatever the case may be depending on how you set up your folder structure but for this training video everything's going to be in the same location so we're going to include the email class.php pretty much straight up like that then once we include that in there we need to call our class so we're going to set just a uh, oh test email equals new what was the name of our class email new email that simply pulls that and says we're going to be using that email class that is located in our email class page So now that we've said that we're going to use that class and uh, we're going to uh, start using or actually that we've uh, called that function uh, that uh, that we've called that class and now we need to start uh, building what we're going to use for the uh, parameters that go into the function when we call it. Let's start out with of course our from we know that we're gonna have a from well who that is is up to you but in this one I'm just going to put uh, oh I don't know uh, I don't know Billy Bob at Hotmail dot com so that's our from next we're going to do a send to and I have a hotmail account that I'm going to use for this and that hotmail account is right here and my uh, my account is SD bad idea at hotmail.com although that's just a test thing I never check it and all it does is automatically delete anything that comes to it so if you want to blast me with emails go ahead because I ain't gonna see them <laughs> you if you got questions do it on my channel because <laughs> uh, I don't pay any attention to this Next, we're going to do our message, and uh, basically, in our message, we can put anything that we want because we're just setting things up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rest of this up so that you can see because there's no need again for you to watch me type. And then we'll be right back and we'll talk about what's in there. Okay, so let's look at what we got going on here. We had the uh, of course first saying that uh, we need to include the class we're saying yes we're uh, initiating the class email which was our class email here 
we start setting up the parameters that are going to be used in the function, the from, the send, and sorry, this was actually the subject, not message. So email with attachment will be our subject. And then if you remember from the first video, I broke the body into three pieces. So this will say, welcome to the attachment email test. Then I'll have a little message underneath that and a thank you underneath that. With the path that uh, we're going to put this same file together all in one place, so the path really is nothing, but you could have it as being uh, image and then, uh, you, you know, whatever folder structure you wanted, but in our case, everything's going to be in the same place, so there really is no path, and then I'm going to call my PNG uh, file just some file PNG so the first thing that we're going to try to send is an attachment with a PNG image in it so there's all our parameters that we need in order to use our function let's set up our function and just stick these parameters into our function in the same order that we had set up in our class the uh, from the to the subject and then our message pieces We'll set that all into that, and we'll get ready to send an email after we load it onto our site. So now we're getting ready. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to use this test email, which is this test email that we created up here, which is using our class. We're going to say test email, and now from the test email, which is, this is what that's saying, is just a uh, dash and a greater sign when you're calling a function within the email that we have created. The email with attach, which was our function that we created, and we put in all our parameters in the same order that we had structured in our class, the from, the send, the subject, blah, 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 as we go. And we're saying if this is true, because remember our function returns true if everything works out so if this is true we're going to echo email send successful else the email send failed so that's your whole uh, index file and at this point if we put on our site our some file dot png and these two files we should be able to then open our browser go to uh, that location and it will send an email to sdbadidea at hotmail.com and we'll see it show up and it will have an attachment and everything will be fine and dandy and we'll send a couple other files just so that you can see that it shows or that it sends multiple different files by simply we'll just change the file name to different things all in the same place and we'll leave everything else the same okay so let's get things on the uh, site this is just my uh, server that I got going so some file dot PNG is what we have here we're gonna put the index in there and we're gonna put our mail class in there so now we have our mail class our index and our sum file all in the same place and I'm just going to go to uh, my site it'll run the index page because there's really nothing there uh, other than what we wrote and we'll then bring up the hotmail and see if it sent us a email right now you can see my folder in the hotmail is all empty so it says email sent successfully when we went to my just home server which is set up to send out emails and everything sending it to hotmail and when we look at hotmail and we refresh let's see if we got anything going yet nope okay so it showed up it says that it was with an attachment there's our subject we're going to open it up and it of course says it went into the junk mail thing so and that's probably because we just used some bogus but it says uh, all this we're going to move this over to our move this over to inbox just so that we can get 
a better idea. We open it up and you can see that we sent our PNG. You can download or open it, whatever the, the whatever the case may be. Seeing that this is uh, uh, email on the uh, on the web, you can download it. But it does send it, and it does have an attachment to it. So with that said, let's do a different one. We're simply going to go in and uh, change what we have for a file. So we're going to uh, change our document that we're sending to test doc, send that up on the server, and in our server we've put a test doc, which is a Word document, and we're going to send that with our uh, email. So again, I'll just run my, it says email sent successful. We get our new mail message at Hotmail. I'm going to say uh, show the content and there's your Word document and you can download it and save it anywhere you want to go. You can see that it has 93 kilobytes. So there you go. That is uh, a class with email function for sending attachments and all you have to do is just tell it what attachment file type that you want and you can change all the other parameters that you go. I hope that helped you out. Have a nice day.